This video is sponsored by Keeper Security. Okay, so here's another battle video that you requested, the all new Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE versus its own sibling, the slightly older Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 FE. Let's go ahead and jump in. First things first, I wanna go ahead and quickly highlight the fact that the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE series now includes two tablets, the regular FE and the FE Plus, in case you were not aware, whereas that of last year or the year before was only one model. Let's go ahead and talk price here. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE will run you $450 for the base model, 128 gigs of internal storage with six gigs of RAM. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 FE base model at the time when it dropped was $530 for the base model, 64 gigs with four gigs of RAM. Now that said, you will find the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE at a much cheaper price than the original $530. And of course, with the Tab S9 FE here, there are deals out there making it so that you don't have to pay $450. Now you can see that just at the beginning of this video, it's not really a very straightforward choice, right? It's not that easy. As I always say, choosing to purchase a tablet should not be be solely based on how much the tablet costs, right? Or the device, any device. You have to make sure that you figure out what you are looking for in the device, and then of course determine which one is the best for you. All right, so let's go ahead and talk design. What you will see here is the most drastic difference between both would be the display, right? The 7FE here is boasting a 12.4 inches display, pretty huge tablet there, whereas the regular S9 FE here is boasting a 10.9 inches display. Now, when it comes down to display type, I can already tell you before I even go into the details that the display on the S9 FE here is better simply because of the new features. And also you have to keep in mind that the display is smaller. So picture quality seems a bit sharper than what you have here, although it's not because you're looking at the PPI, meaning how you measure the density of those pixels. You know, PPI here is 249, whereas here you have it at 243 on the S7 FE. So it appears as if it's sharper again it's just an illusion because the tablet itself is smaller but what makes it a better display is the fact that it supports a higher refresh rate right in case you're not familiar it simply means that things are smoother on the S9 FE here than they are on the S7 FE. When you compare them side by side and scrolling up and down you'll be able to notice that it's a bit more choppy here than it is on the S9 FE here. Now that said, when I sit them side by side and I take an even closer look, it looks like the colors are slightly, and I truly mean slightly on some content, slightly sharper, slightly more vibrant, I should say, slightly more vibrant on the S9 FE, but that's just me on some content. So that's as far as display goes. By the way, I'm not going to dive too deep into a comprehensive review of either one of these tablets in this video. I've already done that. If you want to learn more about either one of these, make sure that after this video, you go ahead and, you know, click to watch, you know, whether the FE, the 7FE or the F S9 FE here. So just bear with me as I just lightly brush over it. Now, with that said, make sure to use the link that I have in the description there so that you can take advantage of the most current discounts that they have available. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE here comes with even more new features, right? For example, the fingerprint sensor that you have here to unlock the tablet. You do have a physical fingerprint sensor there that combos with, you know, combos also as a power, you know, button. Whereas here, you just have the power button and no fingerprint sensor. You have to use, you know, pin or, you know, like a pattern to unlock this one. And you can do that here also, but you do have the fingerprint sensor, which is more secure and is faster to get in. And then of course, another addition that I need to highlight on the S9 FE series is the fact that this is IP rated, meaning you can drop this in water, in a pool of water and leave it there for up to 30 minutes and you will be fine, maybe even more, but don't do it though. I've already done it for you, so you don't have to do it. But the S7 FE here is not water resistant. So if you were to drop in water, might as well leave it there and just go buy a new one. Now, when it comes down to additional features, you do have, you know, speaker grills here, dual speaker setup, just like you have a dual speaker setup on the S7 FE. On the S9 FE here, sound quality coming out is crisp, but 
the S7 FE has louder speakers. Sound quality coming out is also just as crisp, but again, louder than what you have on the S9 FE here, you have USB Type-C port at the bottom, does not push out video signals. There are ways to do it, you know, wirelessly, connecting on the same Wi-Fi and things like that, but natively, they do not push out video signal. And a quick note here, we all know that I've been using Keeper Security Manager since the incident in order to manage and keep my passwords safe. So if you're currently in the market for something new, like this new Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE, or even the all new Google Pixel 8 Pro that I have here, Keeper allows for super seamless device transitions and and it does so across platforms, right? Making sure that your passwords are safely available anywhere. It's truly a game changer, allowing for you to avoid all of the headache that comes with manual processes. Everyone just loved this thing. I mean, Keeper has a 4.9 rating in the App Store with over 210,000 reviews worldwide. Now make sure to use my code IvanCam50, all in one word. The link is gonna be in the description. So use that so you can get 50% off. So go download it today. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk camera. When it comes down to camera, even here, the Galaxy Tab S9 FE is better with the camera that it has. You get an eight megapixel camera, main camera on an S9 FE. You also do get an eight megapixel on the S7 FE. So they're about the same, I would say. But when it comes down to the front facing camera, on the S7 FE here, you have a five megapixel camera. Whereas on the S9 FE, you have a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. So this allows for you to be able during, you know, video calls and things like that to have more people join the call and, you know, expand that camera and be able to fit everyone, you know, in the frame. And on top of that, quality is even better. You get less noise on the Tab S9 FE than you would on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 FE. So that's another thing to keep in mind there. So, so far you can see that the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE is the better choice, but but that's not for everyone, right? People, as I mentioned earlier, work on diff you know, with different budgets and have different needs. You know, maybe you're looking for a larger tablet, maybe that's your number one priority and things like that. But we'll talk about that before I give you my recommendation. So, so far the Tab S9 FE is winning at a lot of things. On top of that, because it's a newer tablet, it is going to be supported longer right, up to four years, whereas here, this dropped in 2021, I wanna say 2021, I don't even remember when I got this, this tablet here. So it dropped pretty close to two years ago, and you know, obviously the support is almost ending, I believe you have another two years left. That doesn't mean that you can't use your tablet after, by the way, to those of you who are new, it simply means that Samsung would you know, stop sending you those major updates, but you should still be able to use your tablet. On the Tab S9 FE here, you your support starts now, right? And will be supported for up to four years. So that is something to keep in mind there. Now, as I mentioned, I don't wanna to dive too deep into the specs and do review of this. So let's go ahead and move on to the performance. This is probably one of, this is probably the meat of the video and why many of you asked that I make this video. When it comes down to performance, what I have here is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 FE, the Wi-Fi model. This model, and the reason I specify Wi-Fi is because this is the model with the slightly more powerful chipset of the Tab S7 FE series. And this is a Snapdragon 778 on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE here. You have an Exynos 1380. When it comes down to performance, benchmark, you know, test results, which show them to be about the same with the Exynos being slightly ahead of the you know, Snapdragon 778 here. And in some cases, the Snapdragon 778 here show to be ahead of it. So they're about the same, I would say. But when it comes down to day-to-day -day tasks, I couldn't really see a difference. If anything, and it could be just me, if anything, it seemed as though the Tab S9 FE here was better optimized and therefore was loading things faster and moving through things better with less lag and less stuttering. I'm gonna have to do more you know, testing so that I can come up with a part two of this video, but so far that's what it seems like to me. So you let me know if you have both and you've tested and you've seen different things. I haven't done any level of heavy editing with this, but I can tell you that light to medium 
editing of videos and photos. You could definitely do that with like PowerDirector, which is what I use to edit on a tablet. So you're gonna be able to do about the same. And in terms of speed, I gotta be honest, I didn't test the speed to see how fast or which one actually renders quicker than the other, simply because I know most people who buy mid-range tablets are not looking to you know, edit or do content creation with their tablet. But either way, for my testing, when it comes down to performance, it seems a tiny bit better here with day-to-day -day tasks, with opening heavy apps and doing some fairly heavy work. But here's where things kind of go very weird. When it comes down to gaming, somehow the Tab S7 FE seemed to do slightly better with PUBG. I got PUBG at the highest settings and it was a bit more choppy on the Tab S9 FE here. I don't know why, but when to keep them mid, right? So you don't go with the highest level of settings you'll be able to play, whether on the S9 FE or the S7 FE without any issues. So that's as far as performance goes. Let's go ahead and talk battery. In terms of battery, you have a very large battery here on the Tab S7 FE here. It's a 10,090 milliamp battery, I believe. Same size as what you had on the S7 Plus, S8 Plus, S9 Plus too. And on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE here, you have an 8,000 milliamp battery. So far, battery life is excellent on either one of these two. From what I remember, when I originally bought the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9, Tab S7 FE here, my mistake, when I bought this Tab S7 FE, battery seemed to last longer than the battery that's loaded on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE here. But then again, these are apple and oranges. It's a huge tablet. This is a small tablet, so it's gonna be Subjective. In either case, whether you go for this or the other, you will be fine in terms of battery. Even if you're a power user, you should be able to see the entire day without any issues. So that's that. They also do support the Samsung S Pen, right? Whether you use the Samsung S Pen from the S7 FE, you, you know, on the S9 FE or vice versa, it will work. It's the same standardized you know, Samsung S Pen. But the only difference here is that the one coming with the S9 FE is gonna be water resistant. But other than that, you'll be able to do the same thing you were able to do on the Tab S7 FE here without any new, you know, features. When it comes down to the lag, or I should say to the latency, I would say they're about the same. I, I mean, don't get me wrong, the Tab S9 FE is pushing that high refresh rate and you might be thinking, oh, you know, you may see something better on that, but it seems to be about the same speed at the same level of lag, you know, the, the drag is not that much for you. It's not that noticeable, but when I compare both, it seemed to be about the same. And user experience overall with the S Pen is the same on the FE on the S9 FE than it is on the S7 FE. The only difference is that, you know, obviously you have a larger canvas on the S7 FE where you can, you know, cover a bit more ground. You know, that extra screen real estate allows for you to cover more ground, but otherwise user experience holding the pen and taking down notes and all that stuff is the same. You know, palm rejection, all of that good stuff is the same. Now, still sticking with the display here, when it comes down to watching movies, you know, despite having the S9 FE here showing slightly more vibrant colors, again, to my eyes with some content, it's more enjoyable to watch things on the larger S7 FE here, simply because it's a larger display, right? You get to enjoy it, you know, better than you would on the S9 FE, but the S9 FE is still very good. So watching movies, YouTube videos, or even playing games, they look good on both, but more enjoyable on this, simply because generally larger displays just feel more comfortable to watch things on. Now I'm gonna stop this video here, and as I mentioned, you know, I did make comprehensive videos on either one of these two. If you wanna learn more about either one of them, make sure to watch those videos. So let me go ahead and give you my take. It's very simple. If you were to ask me, which one should I choose? And you know, money is not a problem. I would say go for the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE because it has plenty to offer along with a lot more, you know, new features, right? But if you were to tell me, I'm looking for a large tablet, a large display, which one should I go for between these two? Obviously the S7 FE. If you're looking for something with more power, this is where, I kind of go, eh, you're not really getting it that much more from either one. Personally, I think you might get a little bit more from the S9 FE, but if you're really looking for something very powerful, then maybe consider something from like an 
older flagship, right? If you are, if budget is an issue, then you should consider an older flagship. Those are loaded with or boasting, you know, more powerful chipset, right? So if you're looking for something that is portable, I'd say, of course, go for the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9. If, if you are a student and you're telling me, which one should I go for? I'm gonna be taking notes, you know, watching my courses online and all that stuff. I'm gonna tell you that although the S7 FE here is a larger tablet, and you might be able to enjoy stuff on it more, go for the S9 FE, simply because it's a more relevant tablet. It's current, it's gonna be supported longer, you might be able to hang on to it longer, and as I mentioned, better display, and you have new things attached to it that will make it, you know, last longer. I mean, we could keep going on and on, but why don't we make this short? If you have specific questions about choosing between these two, let me know in the comment section. Give me a kind of a brief background at what you're looking to do with your tablet. Hey, I'm looking for a tablet like this. I want this size, I want this, this is my budget. Which one should I go for? You know, I'd be better equipped to answer your question in that manner. So I'm gonna catch you in the comment section. Make sure to like the video, by the way, if you haven't done so already, or make sure also to subscribe if you forgot to do so. Share the video if you know anyone who will be interested. You know, I'm gonna catch you in the comment section. Like I said, I'm certainly hoping that this was informative. Let me know any questions you may have. I'm also gonna catch you in the next video. Until that next video, of course, as always, stay safe out there.